The following video is part of a series to help students alleviate stress in daily activities like test taking, presentations, and public speaking. To find more videos like this one, please check the description box below. One of my favorite things about yoga is it can be used to help counterbalance anxiety. I put together a little short flow that can be used to help lower anxiety levels and help us feel more grounded and ready to go. So to begin, we'll come to our yoga mat and just find a nice comfortable standing posture, bringing the arms down by the side, softening the knees a little bit, and lifting all 10 toes so that we know we're balancing between the ball of the foot and the heel of the foot equally. Then when we're ready, we can relax the toes down and inhale, bring the arms all the way up overhead to where it is comfortable, and then exhale, fold forward to where it's appropriate for you. And we'll do this twice more, inhaling nice and big, really let the belly rise up. And then at the bottom of the exhale, take a forward fold down to where it is right for you. Good, inhale, we lift up, coming all the way up. And exhale, coming down to where it is right for you. Once we come all the way down, go ahead and step the feet apart a little bit further and then folding the arms, gently sway back and forth. And in swaying back and forth while we're breathing, we're going to let the weight of the head drop into the hands of gravity. And we're going to let our back lengthen with each exhale. Be careful to keep a tiny bend in both knees so we don't hyperextend in the knees and cut off circulation from the feet going back to the torso. Good, let's stay here for three more breaths. Each time we sway, maybe feeling a little bit more stress drop out of the body a little bit more tension, leave the back and the backs of the legs. Nice. Next, we'll swing our arms in one direction, drop that back knee down and pull the other knee back and behind you. Taking ourselves forward, go ahead and stretch the stomach, open the shoulders, and then exhale, drop the hips back towards the heels. Gripping with the fingers, we'll do that again. Bring it forward, stretch the core, and exhale, hips towards the heels. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, bring it forward, stretch the core, and exhale, hips to the heels. Nice. Taking ourselves all the way back and down, we can rest our head on the earth or maybe stack our fists. So that way the forehead has somewhere to rest comfortably. The toes can be flipped under to create more room for the knees. Or if it's comfortable to take the feet flat to the earth, we can rest our hips on our heels. Two or three more deep breaths here. And then when we get to that last exhale, Go ahead and inhale, bring yourself back up to your hands and knees. Keeping our hips and knees stacked, we can slide the arms forward and drop the forehead towards the earth. Using a pillow if our head doesn't get there easily, because we want the neck to be relaxed. And in this way, we can stretch, gripping with the fingers, reach the whole spine nice and long. So a wonderful way to open up the back, open up the shoulders. And if you're gripping with your fingers, you'll feel the shoulders engaged as well. Good, just a couple more breaths here. Beautiful work, inhale big. Nice, and then go ahead and bring yourself back up, taking our hips towards the heels. And again, we can flip the toes under to make this more comfortable. You can grab that pillow or blanket 
and put it between your hips and your heels if that feels better. Draw the shoulders back, reach through the crown of the head and take your chin, move it towards the base of the skull. Good, shake out the neck. Nice. And we're letting the whole spine drop down between the heels. If we can bring your hips to the heels, great. If you can put your feet flat to the floor, great. One more big breath in. Okay, now we're going to hang upside down. So bringing ourselves forward, let's drop the forearms to the earth. Good, flip our toes under, and then exhale, lift your hips up high and let the head drop towards the ground. We can keep the knees bent while we're doing this. And if you're like, Teresa, this is too much, you can drop to your knees, that's okay. Breathing here in our dolphin pose. If the head feels vulnerable at all, grab your blanket and stick the blanket under the head for more comfort. One more big breath in. Nice, and exhale, soften the knees, take the knees to the ground, and inhale, come all the way back up. Nice job. Flipping the toes under. Good, we're going to sway like an elephant once again. And then inhale, come up one vertebra at a time if that's okay with your spine. Head comes into place, shoulders roll back and down. Nice, okay. Now if we have a chair, this can make triangle pose a lot more comfortable. Taking our left foot in front of the chair, the right foot behind, we have the left foot turned to about 90 degrees, back foot about 45. We inhale, bring the arms forward of the body, up to the sky, out to the side. Good, pull the shoulders in on the back, and then exhale, maybe one hand to the chair, maybe one hand reaching towards the ceiling. And what we're looking for is an opening across the entire front of the chest. Good, an opening across the pelvis, but keep the right hip engaged. Little bend to the knees. Beautiful, taking the hand back down and bringing the torso up. So we can repeat that pose a second time if you want, or if you want to get fancy, find a wall that your chair is against, just in case your balance is off. Hand to the chair, good. We're going to inhale big, and exhale, lift that other leg up the wall. Take your arm against the wall as well if you'd like. Breathing here. One more breath in. Good, let the heel slide down, soften the knee, and come up nice and easy. Great job, turn the toes in the other direction. We can even do triangle right here against the wall, coming down into the triangle, other arm coming up. Good, again, we can use the chair as well, taking it to the opposite side if we'd like. Breathing here. Keeping the hip engaged. And after five or six breaths, good, if we'd like to get fancy, we're gonna take our hand to the chair, lift that back leg up the wall. Good, taking the top arm and moving the head towards the wall as well. Breathing here. Ready? Exhale, go ahead and take it all the way back down. Nice job. A little bit of a forward fold here if you want. 
sway it out, soften the knees and come all the way back up to stand. Awesome. Okay, we're going to grab our blanket once again, moving ourselves to the floor. And you can make the blanket whatever thickness you feel would be appropriate for your body. And we're going to place this behind our shoulders so that the heart is lifted and the head is on the ground comfortably. So coming down, placing the shoulder blades on the ground, taking your head to the earth. <laughs> My hair is preventing the head from dropping back further, if that's okay. Taking the shoulders on the blanket Good, and then dropping the arms down by the side. And we breathe here. And we continue to breathe here with each exhale, just letting the heart melt open. Good, the arms become heavy. The hips become relaxed. Good, any tension in the face and the muscles of the face, relax. And then when you're ready, inhale big. Good, exhale, let the knees fall to one side, rolling, pushing ourselves up. And we'll remove the blanket. And then if you want, you can take your legs either up on the chair or on the wall. And by elevating our legs, good, we'll further stimulate relaxing the nervous system. Taking the arms down by the side, making sure our chin and forehead are level, and if not, grabbing your blanket, putting it behind the back of the head so that the spine is nice and long. And we can lie here for a few minutes. Good, the big thing being the movement of the belly. I should say the movement of the diaphragm, displacing the organs as you inhale, and creating more space for the organs as you exhale. And the rib cage opening and expanding on the inhale and closing on the exhale. And finally, inhale, belly button rises, rib cage opens, chest lifts. And then exhale, chest relaxes, rib cage closes, belly button drops. Good, from the bottom to the top, from the bottom of the lungs to the top of the lungs. And then exhaling from the top of the lungs down to the base of the lungs. Good, three more breaths here.
excellent. And we can stay here as long as we would like. The legs are getting tingly, the feet are getting tingly. You can take them down, give them a shake, and then come to lie down onto the earth. But figuring out what would be best for us. And if we're ready to get up, we can take the knees into the chest, roll to one side, stacking knees, ankles, hips, And then when we're ready, opening or stretching the top leg nice and long and coming up into a comfortable seated position. Good, once we feel nice and grounded, you can just take a few minutes to gather yourself. Good, hopefully feeling a little bit less anxious, a little bit calmer. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope that this little flow that we did was helpful.